Guys, on this video, we're going to burn in and do our first cook on this Pit Boss Vertical Smoker Copperhead Edition 3 Series. All that good stuff coming up. What's up, fans of barbecue? I'm CJ from CJ's Q. Thank you for being here. Guys, if you're a returning subscriber, hey, welcome back. Appreciate all support. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button. We're gonna do a lot of great things on this channel and I want you to be a part of it, all right? Hit that bell next to it too and get the alerts on what we're doing here. So what are we doing here today, guys? We're gonna do a burn in on this bad boy. It's brand new out of the box, guys. I was gonna do an unboxing video, an assembly video, but I decided there's enough of those out on the net. In fact, I'm gonna send you, uh, after this video, I'll put a link to that unboxing and assembly video my friend Mike did at Weekend Warrior Barbecue. Uh, either I'll put it up here now or at the end of the video. I don't want you leaving me just yet. But Guys, I have a son who's in college who needs a little bit of money. So what I did was put his butt to work in uh, putting this bad boy together. I'll put some uh, time lapse above this. Uh, it's just so much easier for me to sit back, have a beer, give him 50 bucks to put this bad boy together. You can call me lazy if you want, but uh, some people work smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys. So what are we going to do real quick? We're going to do a burn in on this. We're going to get turn it on, prime it out, get those pellets going through, get that smoke rolling in it, uh, get all that factory uh, gobbly goop in there burned off. And then we're gonna do our first cook, all right? Well, our first cook is gonna be a nice little pork loin that I've seasoned up with a little Heath Riles all-purpose rub and a little of their apple rub, because you know pork and apple go together like things that go together, all right? So we'll put that in there. Should be a nice, easy cook. I'm excited for it, guys. I'm excited to be a part of Team Pit Boss. That's it, let's get started. Nothing left to do but to do it, right? Come on back. All right, guys, we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Prime it up. Just hold it for a few minutes until we get those uh, pellets rolling out. Shouldn't be any time now. We have the setting on smoke. I put in 40 pounds of pellets last night. So the auger's rolling right now. All right, our first pellets are coming out. There we go. It took about 30 seconds. That's exciting. Pellets going. Get that glow rise heated up. Okay, guys, we got this going already. Got the little set it in the smoke position. Once we uh, get ready to shut this up and do the burn off, we're gonna turn it up to 350 on the dial down below. Get it burned off, go 30, 40 minutes, and we'll call it a day. Okay, guys, we have the burn in done. Now we're gonna cook our little pork loin. We have some smoke on it. Okay, I have two probes going. I have my meat stick wireless thermometer, and I'm using the Pit Box Grills uh, probe that hooks into the bottom. Uh, just since it's the first cook, I want to make sure the tips are all good. Okay. that in, push that in, water in the water pan, let it smoke for quite a bit, and then we'll, uh, then we'll turn it up to about 275. Guys, like I said, this isn't a cook video, this is me just cook, cooking that pork loin in there. It's got a nice fat cap on it, uh, scored it up real nice. It's been sitting in that Heath Riles rub for a while, so it's nice and uh, seasoned well. We're just gonna let it cook till it comes up to temperature, probably about 145, 150. Pull it out, let it rest, we're good to go. It's doing amazing. The burn off took no time at all. There was no problems whatsoever. Right, Matt? No problems. No problems. <laughs> <laughs> no problems whatsoever. It's working like a charm. Uh, got plenty of pellets left in the hopper back here. Yeah, I mean, even with that, you know, we did about a 45 minute burn in. No problem, all right? Good to go. Come on. All right, we're at the half hour mark. Uh, guys, we're looking good. Got a nice little smoke in there. I'm gonna pump up the temperature to that 275 mark. I 
I don't really have a reason why I left it just on smoke right away. Um, I just still getting a feel for the machine. So there's there's no reason why you can't go straight to 250, 275 on cooking this. But like I said, I just I'm feeling my way through it. I wanted to see how the smoke works. The smoke the smoke's coming out of the top. Nice, nice even smoke. That white smoke's all gone. So we're doing real well. Half hour in, we're gonna pump this thing up to 275. This should only take about an hour to cook. It was only about a four pound loin, so it's not too bad. Uh, smoke's coming out, it's looking good. All right, cool. All right, we got the probe out. We turned off the, the smoker. Let's get this over here. We're gonna take this. We're gonna get it in the broiler, get this crisp up. It's set, it's nice, but it's, I think it could be a little bit more rendered. And then uh, we'll get it wrapped, be good to go. Hey guys, I'm looking at this. I'm excited for this new pit. I definitely see me doing a bunch of cooks on this. I'm digging the space in there. If you guys see, if you trim up your ribs just right, you can put one rack there, one rack there, or even uh, if you have to, if they're too long, go diagonal. Uh, looks like there's plenty of room, you know, a brisket on one, some, you know, some ribs up here, uh, pork butts, you can put a couple butts in there too. I think, I definitely think I'm going to do a max out video on this. Uh, I think that's definitely in the works. All right, come on back. We'll be in the kitchen. We'll, we'll cut up this pork loin. got a couple slices for the gram again oops this isn't a cook video this is the review video of the pit boss vertical smoker but I mean look at the juice got the juice is loose whoa Let's see if we could do this without dropping it you guys can tell it's a little hot it's looking great though Woo. all right come on back and we'll talk about the pit boss vertical smoker love it all right all right guys so we got through our first cook in this bad boy right here what can i say I i'm digging it uh, i've been waiting to get one of these for a while i don't know what took me so long and pulling the trigger on it we all know pit boss is a good brand um what i'm excited to do is to sorry the air conditioners came on it's about outside cooking i guess uh, i'm excited to max this bad boy out I plan on doing a huge cook with brisket, pork shoulder, some ribs, maybe some beef ribs up in there too. Uh, we're gonna match this puppy out, see how well we can go. Guys, that pork loin turned out amazing. I cut it up, the juice was flowing like crazy. Uh, the temperature probe in here worked out really well. Uh, I had no issues. This thing's put together very well. I can see that we can, we can do tons of cooks on it. Uh, I like the, the ease of it. Uh, what I also like is I could actually get this thing going for 24 hours. When you have over 40 pounds of wood pellets in here, low and slow, easy as can be. So you know I'm gonna do a low and slow brisket eventually, or I don't have to pay attention to it all night long, so I'm excited about that. I love that water pan in there to so keep that moisture going. I'm trying to think what else. We're gonna bake in this. Uh, we're gonna put some cold smoke, we're gonna do some smoked cheeses. I just, oh man, it's running through my head, all the stuff I'm gonna do. I need to start writing down all my ideas. We're definitely gonna do a lot of cooks on this. It's gonna be exciting. I hope you come along with me on this one, guys. Uh, like I said, this is just a quick review, quick cook. We did the burning, did the pork loin. Everything worked amazingly. Fully happy I spent money on this. Guys, this wasn't given to me by Pit Boss. This was straight up my own money. I paid for this. So if I'm getting behind it, you know, it's a real deal. It's not just that someone just paid me to do it, all right? That's it for this time, guys. We're gonna definitely keep cooking on it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it with all your barbecue groups. Uh, I never thought I'd be a pellet cooker owner, but I'm damn excited to try this. The, like I said, that first cook turned out amazing. All right, guys, Till next time. Hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for hanging out in the backyard and barbecuing with CJ. Take care.